Hello, welcome to another video. In this video, we will be discussing Euler's theorem for homogeneous function. Euler's theorem is named after the renowned Swiss mathematician. We have previously done a video on homogeneous function. You may check the link up here or you may refer to the description below for the video on homogeneous function, how to determine if a function is homogeneous or not, and of what degree is the function homogeneous. On to this video, Euler's theorem for homogeneous function. Euler's theorem for homogeneous functions states that if a certain function of a set of independent variables, if, let's say the function has the independent variable x1, x2, and xn is a homogeneous function of the independent variables. So of the independent variable x1, x2, and all the variables that the function entail of a certain degree then derivative or partial derivative of the function with respect to each individual variable so partial derivative of the function with respect to the first variable which is x1 multiply by the independent variable plus the partial derivative of the function with respect to the second variable multiply with the second variable plus the partial derivative of all other variables in the function until we get to the partial derivative of the function with respect to the last variable in this case which is xn multiplied by xn must be equal to the degree which is k multiplied by the function in of itself f of x1 x2 xn so Euler's theorem for homogeneous function simply states that if we take the partial derivative of the function with respect to each individual independent variable, the summation of the partial derivatives multiplied by the each individual variables must be equal to the degree of homogeneity multiplied by the function in of itself. Let's look at one or two examples. Example one. Let's say we have a certain function f of x comma y is equal to x y plus x squared. We gave this example while we were discussing the topic of homogeneous function. You may check the description below for the video. We found that for this exact function, the degree of homogeneity is 2. However, now we would like to use Euler's theorem for homogeneous function to confirm that degree of homogeneity is indeed 2. Let's use this example to explain this function here. This function here, how we wrote it in this form. We know that f of xy is equal to xy plus x squared. But let's write this function here in terms of this. Just so that you can understand how the breakdown is done. We go to the function. We take the partial derivative of the function with respect to the first variable, which is x. Multiply it with the first variable itself, which is x. Plus, take the partial derivative of the function with respect to the second variable which is y 
multiply it with the second variable which is y and that should be equal to the second part here which is the degree of homogeneity multiplied by the function in of itself degree of homogeneity let's assume we don't know this is two so we represent the value of the degree with k multiplied by the function in of itself which is f of x comma y now it is clear what we need to do next partial derivative of the function with respect to x is y plus 2x because the partial derivative of the function here with respect to x will be y plus 2x multiply by the first independent variable which is x plus the partial derivative of this function again but now with respect to y that will give us x plus zero because the partial derivative of x square with respect to y will be zero multiply by the second variable which is y equals to the degree of homogeneity is unknown so let's leave it as k multiply by the function f of x y which is x y plus x square multiply by the function f of x comma y so what we are trying to do is that this function that we have here we are writing it in a way that will give us this form of this function that we have here if we are able to express this left part of the equation in terms of this right part then the equation is homogeneous of a certain degree and that means Euler's theorem for homogeneous function does hold so let's continue open the bracket that means x y plus y times x is x y plus 2x times x is 2x square plus x times y is x y and that's equal to or we expect it to be equal to k multiplied by the function next we have x y plus x y will give us 2 x y plus 2 x square that's equal to k multiplied by the function next we factorize 2 is common so we bring out 2 we are left with x y plus x square equals k multiplied by f of x comma y so that means 2 multiplied by we know that x y plus x square is the function given to us in the question so the function given to us in the question is f of x equals 2 x y plus x square now we have 2 times x y plus x square so that means instead of writing x y plus x square we simply replace it with f of x comma y and that's equal to k multiplied by f of x comma y now indeed we can see that the equality does hold that means Euler's theorem holds and the degree of 
homogeneity is k represents a degree of homogeneity if f of x y here is equal to the f of x y on the right then keeping the equality consistent k which represents the degree of homogeneity must be consistent with these two hence our degree of homogeneity is two using the basic method of determining homogeneous function we said previously that we've gotten for this certain function the degree of homogeneity is two and Euler's theorem has proved that indeed the degree of homogeneity is two hope you found this video helpful in subsequent videos we will show how Euler's theorem is applied in economics. So for the economics students or for students studying economics in the advanced level, we will show how Euler's theorem is used to confirm that a certain demand function or a certain supply function is homogeneous of a certain degree and how we can show that Euler's theorem does hold for the certain degree of homogeneity in the independent variables. Until then, Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this video. Thank you.